the AI art debate has been circulating in the art community for a while now, and many artists have become victims of art theft through AI art generators. The issue has become so severe that the artists are outright protesting on social media to prevent their art from being unethically fed into these generators by others and profited off in the name of AI art. There are many issues with the AI generated art and it needs to be discussed extensively so that the people understand that it is a big problem and that the artists are not whining about it rather they are trying to protect their intellectual property as they have a complete right to do so but before we start the video hello and welcome to a new video i am drafisha and today i am painting this piece called daydream the description of which is in the description box below now let's get started. Art is the oldest part of the world's history and it is through this art that we came to understand our predecessors. It is as important as the written history of the world. Today, defining art can be a little difficult especially as it is the people that decide what is art according to their perception. This means that anything can be art. However, the integral part of any art is the artistic expression. In every piece of art, a part of artist's soul resides. And that is the reason that an art piece can be extremely compelling, drawing out different emotions in the viewers and having different effects on them. Through art, artists show the people the way they perceive the world or they bring completely new worlds to the people. It is an extremely intimate process as the artists are sharing their world with the people. Now over the centuries art has evolved and many art mediums have been introduced which include the traditional mediums like oil paints and watercolors to digital mediums like digital paintings, 3D renderings, graphic design etc. In all these mediums one thing is consistent that is the human element. Behind each painting or design, there are always humans that are coming up with the ideas and executing them for the world to see. Humans understand emotions as human beings are the most evolved species not only due to their intelligence but also their emotions. So, all creative processes need the human touch to connect with other people's emotions to convey their messages and have a community of like-minded people. People should know that sharing art or any other form of artistic expression with others is a very special and personal thing. Many artists never share their art with the world as it is an intimate part of their being. So when an artist shares their work with the world, it is a very special form of connection. However. Many people regard art as mere scribbles and doodles with no value attached to it. And they also regard creative people as lazy, childish and without a real job. Hence the starving artist stereotype. Artists have always faced these stigmas and yet they have kept on pursuing their passion for creating art as it is as important as breathing to them. People don't realize that every man-made thing has gone through the hands of creative people. From the toothbrush that you use every morning to the bed sheets that you sleep on at night. All of these things are made usable and aesthetically pleasing by a creative person that has worked on the designs of these products. Artists are not just painting mindlessly in the corner of some room. They are working in different design fields, animation studios, game studios, etc. to bring to you beautiful products, out of this world game characters, creating beautiful worlds that bring you immersive gaming experience and awesome visual effects in both games and cinema so that you are glued to your seats enjoying every second of that experience. Artists spend months working on these projects so that every time people have a better experience with the work created. So this notion that artists are useless to the society is a very uneducated opinion and based on worn out stereotypes. Artists are working in different industries 
and bringing value to the society. Yes, their jobs are different than the traditional definition of jobs, but these are jobs nonetheless. Now, you might be thinking, why am I going on and on about the importance of artists and the way society perceives them? This is because it feeds into the current AI art debate. The AI generating platforms or applications are gathering large data sets of art created by artists without their permission and using it to train the AI, all the while profiting in millions from the stolen artworks. Art theft has been a huge problem in the art community, where people are downloading the art and selling them on print on demand or similar websites to make quick money. Now AI generators like Lensa, Midjourney, Doll E, etc. are being fed the art of human artists and generating images from their art. The loophole that these platforms have found is that you cannot tell which artist's work has been taken to generate the art. Which is not true as many people are uploading the works of artists like Sam Does Art, Loish, John Lamb, Greg Ruthowski, Carla Ortiz and even the deceased art master Kim Jungi to generate images that seem like they have been created by these artists. Any artist that speaks up against the AI-generated images is targeted and harassed as people steal their art as well and start uploading them to these AI art generators. Sam does art has been harassed as he also spoke against the people that used his art to generate images in his art style. Later, receiving an email stating that a contest is being held to see who can make the best AI-generated art in his style. This is not only harassment, but it is also copyright infringement, opening these people to legal repercussions. Theft of intellectual property is not a small matter and can open people to litigation, creating unnecessary stress to everyone involved. It is baffling to see that people's moral compass becomes non-existence when they have the perk of internet anonymity on their side. They will openly rip off people to make quick money and ridicule the person who is being ripped off if that person tries to speak up against the mistreatment. There are many AI generated images that still have the mangled remains of the original artist's signature on the work, allowing those artists to become painfully aware that their work was stolen to create that image. However, the moment they speak up, they open themselves to more of their work being stolen which is extremely unfortunate and depressing as people have no regard for that person's hard work. Now, it should be understood that AI technology is not evil. Rather, in right hands, it can become a great tool for the artists, but at the moment it is in the hands of the people that want to senselessly make profit of the hard work of the others. John Lamb is one of the artists that I follow. And it was his post that made me aware of this rising problem of the AI-generated art. He, along with other artists, has been working tirelessly to protect the works of all the artists from these AI generators. He has been educating people the way these AI generators are taking the work of the artists without their consent and making profit of it. The technology that is being used by the AI generators is called stable diffusion and it is a machine learning model that converts the text into images. With just this explanation, it seems like a harmless technology. However, the problem is the images part in the text to images model. Where are these images coming from? These images are coming from the stolen work of the artists who may not even know that their work was fed into an AI generator without their consent. When Lensa was confronted to give a comment on this problem, their response was that the AI learns to recognize the connections between the images and the descriptions, not the artwork, efficiently avoiding to address the problem properly. The problem with big company is that they do not care for the individuals that work countless hours on their skills. They only care about the amount of money that they can make off them, so the ethics do not matter to them. There are many people that are now mocking artists saying that their time is over and now everyone can be an artist 
But here is the thing. The moment artists stop making art, the AI will be useless as it will not have any art to train it further. So even in this messed up situation, AI is heavily dependent on leeching off the artists. It is essentially a parasitic relationship. In the article by LA Times, Imad Mustaq, who is the founder of Stability AI, stated that the artists fighting against the AI art generators are arguing for the skill segregation and likened this problem to the issue of lower class not allowed to learn to read and write as it is a privilege of the elite. This is such a weak and defensive argument as the lower class was not stealing any intellectual property of the elite and education is a fundamental right of humanity. So it is understandable if people fight for this right. Whereas stealing someone's intellectual property is theft and it should be stopped. The argument provided by Imad is similar to a child stealing another child's toy and then throwing a tantrum when asked to return it, saying that he has the right to have it because he said so. There is no logic in the child's argument, just like there is no logic in Imad's argument, as he is justifying the theft of someone's work by making it seem like something other than theft. But of course he will present such an absurd argument and try to bleakly defend AI as he is valued at $1 billion and he keeps on making more through the stability AI. The companies that are using this AI technology are saying that this is inevitable and there is no solution. But here is the thing, it is not like there is no solution. It is more of a matter we do not want to look for a solution as we are getting rich. If one AI is intelligent enough to steal art and make more images from it, then another AI can be created that finds out whether the image being fed into the engine is copyright free or not. Google's reverse search capabilities can be used as a reference for this AI technology. And it can also be programmed to find the copyrighted images already fed into the AI generators and help in deleting them. This idea may be crude and might need to be reworked in order to make a working AI. But it is not impossible. It will solve the problem of art theft by AI and the artists would not have to worry about their life's work being stolen. For the young artists that are worried that they would be replaced by AI, they do not have to worry, as passion of the artists for their art is resilient enough to stand against any threat, and they have been fighting for their place in society for centuries, so rest assured they are not going to stop now. Artists like John Lamb and Carla Ortiz are working towards getting laws passed so that the artist's work is protected from the AI. And if we work together, then we can also make sure that artists are protected from art theft by AI and people alike. I am putting a link to the GoFundMe page where John Lamb and his peers have started gathering funds to get laws passed that would protect the artists. So you can check it out as well. This is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe for future content and I will see you next time. Bye.